Hey there, and welcome to our screencast on how to get your podcast onto iTunes. This is the last of our series of how to get a podcast from your editor onto iTunes. We've, of course, talked about how to go from your editor to Lipson, how to go from Lipson to WordPress, how to go from WordPress into FeedBurner, and now we're going to talk about how to go from FeedBurner into iTunes. Now, of course, you don't have to take all those steps if you want to go from any of those destinations directly into iTunes. You certainly can. But of course, in those videos, we've given you some pretty good reasons why this is the path that I've chosen for my iTunes. Now, before we get right into the feed burner to iTunes spot, I want to share with you a couple places again where you can find this important RSS information. I'm over here in Lipson, and I'm going to go up to Destinations. And right here under Quick Links, it says Lipson Classic Feed. Here is the RSS feed that pulls into WordPress. And so here we are in FeedBurner. Of course, this is a brand new feed that we're sticking up, so we don't have any subscribers yet. But what I want to do to find the feed that goes into iTunes is to click on the name of the feed. And then we're going to come up here to Edit Feed Details. And you'll see that I have my original feed. And then over here, I have my feed address. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this feed address and I'm going to go over into iTunes. Okay, here I am over in iTunes. I'm also in the podcasting section over here. And in order to put my podcast into iTunes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here under the podcasting tab and I'm going to click on submit a podcast. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to podcast feed URL, and I'm going to paste in my feed from FeedBurner. It's going to ask me to sign in to publish my podcast, so I need my Apple ID and my password. And you can see after we hit the continue button, it says review podcast. And here it's pulling in all of the information from our RSS feed. Now, of course, we can change all of this by going back either into Lipson or WordPress or FeedBurner and setting this up. Now, each of those options does control a little bit of your RSS feed. And if you need help with that, certainly you can contact us over at feedback at teachercast.net. So here we have the name of our podcast. We have the author. We have a short description. We have a long description. We've put this in the health category. We've put this in the subcategory. And of course, we have a clean podcast in English. And I'm going to hit the submit button. And it says, thank you for submitting this podcast. Now, my suggestion when you put something in is make sure you have content. Make sure you have at least two or three podcasts. I know with iTunes, if I put something into iTunes that has three or four or five episodes, I usually get approved within 24 hours. If I put something in that maybe has one episode and is brand new, sometimes it's taken as long as three to four days. So the more content you have, the quicker, generally, iTunes accepts it. And after that, you're done. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please reach out at TeacherCast online. Or, you, of course, you can certainly subscribe to this audio and video channel over at TeacherCast.net slash iTunes and TeacherCast.net slash YouTube. And while you're there, please take a moment and give us a nice review. We love it when you review our podcasts and our screencasts. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Thank you for listening to TeacherCast.